My name is Rayan and uh, uh, I want to know that uh, if someone dies uh, like uh, in ignorance, like uh, he knows really how to read the Quran, but uh, he doesn't read the Quran out of ignorance or uh, he can't make it up. So uh, if he dies uh, without read, reading the whole Quran, he knows um, some surahs like Surah Fatiha or some other surahs. So will he be held accountable from this. So you're asking about someone who is not able to recite the Quran and he only know little that he can lead the Salah or uh, pray and, and, and that's it. Is that what you're asking about? What is the ruling on someone like that? Uh, yes, and I also know that if, uh, also want to know that if someone is able to read but but sometimes we know that uh, many people don't read the Quran um, out of ignorance, you know, or lack of time. So, will he be held accountable? Well, recitation of the Quran is one of the voluntary acts of worship. Um, it's the best way to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And uh, the people who recite the Quran are the people of Allah. Ahlullahi wa khasatu. And if Allah wills goodness for you, he will let you recite and understand the Quran. But now, uh, if you do not recite it, uh, you lack the guidance that comes from it. And that person is distant from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, but uh, recitation of the Quran is a voluntary act of worship. It is not mandatory act of worship. Uh, the, the recitation in the Salah, like Al-Fatiha, is mandatory. Uh, like some of the Quran is also recommended. Uh, but uh, being able to recite and you don't recite, there is definitely someone who is consumed by shaitan. Uh, someone who is also uh, not able to recite and he doesn't pursue uh, the means to learn how to recite, certainly shaitan is uh, controlling him. Jazakallah khaira. Assalamu alaikum.